The Hinge Pediatric Plating System by Pega Medical. A less invasive, gentle correction to fix pediatric malalignment through guided growth. Specifications. The plate is provided in three different sizes with distances between the anchoring points of the screws of 12, 16, and 20 millimeters. The screws are provided in three different lengths of 25, 30, and 35 millimeters. Advantages. Ideal placement of a true hinge at the growth plate. Stronger screw design. Easily adaptable to different bone morphology. Variety of plate and screw sizes. Unrestrained angular rotation around fulcrum. Precise and simple surgical technique. Pre-op plan and implant selection. A careful pre-operative planning and radiological analysis should be used to define the Cora, plane, direction, and angle of deformity intended to correct. Hinge plate and screw selection is done according to the patient's growth plate height and location to prevent invasion or damage of the physis. Guide wire placement. Initial location for placement of the hinge plate is achieved by inserting a guiding K-wire to localize the growth plate under fluoroscopic imaging. The K-wire should be inserted considering that the center line of the hinge plate will be placed approximately at 6.5 millimeters from the K-wire. Choice of technique. The technique will first be described using the template instruments. The templates help with placement of the K-wires and reaming. Experienced surgeons sometimes choose to directly use the implant, skipping the templating step. This technique will be described later. Template placement. The template is placed over the growth plate using the crock holder that is guided by the previously positioned K-wire. Release the template and verify proper seating over bone surface and alignment with growth plate through C-arm. Hole preparation with template. Define screw location by placing a second K-wire with the aid of the dual drill wire guide at an angle away from the growth plate to avoid damage. Check position before drilling under C-arm. Using the cannulated drill bit, prepare screw hole to the depth indicated by the selected screw length. Once the first hole is drilled, proceed with same method for second hole. Having both holes perforated, proceed to remove the template. Implant and screw placement. Proceed to position the hinge plate by using the crock holder assisted by the guiding K-wire. Once the hinge plate is secured, the procedure is concluded by removing the guiding K-wire followed by the crock holder. Assure proper implant seating over the bone surface, avoiding periosteal damage, and check screw final position before closing. Direct implant technique. Following K-wire placement, Selected the desired plate using the crock holder and slide over the K-wire. Check alignment of the hinge plate in both planes. First hole preparation. Using the dual guide, insert the first wire into the epiphysis. While maintaining pressure with the dual guide to ensure bone contact, drill over the wire. Note the screw length required and preload the screw onto the screwdriver. Epiphyseal screw insertion. While maintaining plate placement with a crock holder, remove the drill and guide wire and quickly engage the desired screw into the prepared hole. Do not fully tighten the screw. Check screw placement. The crock holder can now be removed. Metaphyseal hole preparation. Using the dual guide, place guide wire into the metaphysis away from the growth plate. While maintaining pressure with the dual guide to ensure bone contact, drill over the wire. Note the screw length required. Metaphyseal screw insertion. Remove guide wire and drill and insert the second screw. Fully tighten both screws progressively. 